Welcome to the channel. Khalid, um, he is definitely a friendly face around here. That's why they call it the grinder. Yeah. Grinder coffee. 100%, 100%. The vibe's good, atmosphere, everyone that's... The hostess with the mostest. My man, Khalid. That's what's up. <laughs> we're the best. Yeah, we're the best. What's up peoples? Nice day today and thank you for tuning into the channel. Now today I'm in St. Peter's. Nice place out here. A lot of graph, a lot of street art. I mean this place is dope. You know if you really love street art, graph. Place is all bombed out here. So shout out to all, uh, all these artists that's uh, hitting up these walls. Gotta love it. Look at this. I'm sure my homies back in Wellington will appreciate this. Juice one, curb. Now, I'm in the inner west of uh, Sydney, a place called St. Peter's. And I'm here to actually take a look around the place because I've always um, gone past here in the past and thought it would be a great idea to come here and, and do a video. And plus, I've got a surprise for you guys. I'm going to see this dude in his cafe but just keep your eye focus on the channel and we're gonna bring it to you so let's go you know what we try to do is try to get get around the city because there's a lot of these dope places here in side streets in Sydney that a lot of people probably don't see unless they they live in the area but your man's car because I can, it's out here. We're out here. Look at this. Look how dope this is. Great artwork. So I just had to stop off at the gas station, get, get myself a drink. Man thirsty. Man's getting hot, but it's not hot. What's that, what's that song? Man's not hot. So man's thirsty. So had to get, just had to pick up a drink, getting a bit thirsty, plus it's getting hot for this uh, walk around St. Peter's. Hard work. <laughs> Today, got a special guest on my on, on, on the channel. It's somebody you probably saw in the last video. Now this this dude had a lot of energy, man. Dude had the energy. You know, if there was a hundred people in the room and this guy enters, believe me, shit's going down. This guy, you know, he's got a very good energy, good personality. I met him down in Lakemba. So today, I thought I'd pull up to his um, establishment and I will show you guys. And I'm going to turn the camera around and let him um, introduce himself. What's good, bro? Hey, bro, how are you? Now, for those people that never saw the last video, yep. uh, can you please tell them your name? Yes. So my name's Khaled, DJ Khaled. Well, like DJ Khaled, just without the DJ. We're the best. That's it, baby. That's it. So uh, we're here in your cafe out in St. Peter's. How long is, uh, have you had this uh, cafe up? So we've been up and running for about five and a half months now. Yeah. So we've been up and running in October. Okay, and uh, how, how's it going so far? It's going good. It's, we're slowly building, yeah. uh, putting a name around the area. Yeah. Um, we were kind of open during COVID, the second wave of COVID. So okay. We opened um, through a rough time. We opened through a rough time, but 
I mean, it's as good as can be. And so, have you always been in the food um, industry? No. So, I grew up roasting coffee and nuts. Um, coffee and nuts. Coffee These and nuts. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the best nuts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I grew up roasting coffee and nuts in the family business, and then just kind of fizzled out and just tried to explore a few things and kind of always had the ambition to own a cafe and got the opportunity to do so with the best mate and this is us. Oh nice, so did it, was it like between you know between you guys deciding to do the cafe and the time you actually got it happening, how, how long was that? So we were, I think the whole process, like we would always be talking about it for a couple of years and COVID kind of hit, we lost some, we lost the work or lost the job that we were doing and we sat down and we're just like, you know what, fuck it. So sorry for my language. Uh, yeah. Let's get a cafe going. So we found a spot. We're looking at, you know, kind of trying to bring our our culture to an area, and we kind of found a really great spot here in St. Peter's, and we just made it happen. What's your name? Taz. 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 This camera feels like it's like. In no, 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 this time. Okay, so Taz. So, and this is one of your regular spots. Yeah, I live up the road. Come to the BB almost every day, pretty much. Okay, what do you usually get here? I am a weirdo, I get a skim cappuccino with two sugars warm because I'm just a giant baby and I'm okay with that, that's fine. Hey, that's good. <laughs> so, tell the people to make sure to come out and check the Bearded Barista. Yes, if you're ever in St. Peter's near Sydney Park, you need to come visit the Bearded Barista, get some coffee, meet Carla and the team because, um, yeah, it's definitely a vibe. Definitely the vibe, that's it. That's what we're looking for today, the vibes. Definitely pull up people. This ain't no joke. Yeah, it's good coffee. Carl Ed, sure. without the DJ, we're the best. <laughs> ah, say it again. What's that? We're the best. We're the best. That's it. How are you? What's your name, brother? Mohammed. Mohammed. Salam alaikum, Mohammed. Tell the people. Do you recommend this place? This spot. One hundred and ten percent. It's so good. It's so underrated. It's very good. Like. Yeah, yeah it's so underrated. It's such a good, good vibe, and like he'll never disappoint. You look at him, like he's just a big, friendly guy. And he looks scary, but he's not. He's, he's one of the nicest people in the world. Like, surely come down here and check it out, man. Exactly, so, and that's the reason why I'm here because I got the vibe. You know, yeah, when I met the brother, I was like, whoa. Yeah, man, nah, he, he gives, he gives <laughs> the energy out. Man. He gives the energy out, and. It doesn't disappoint everyone come down to the BB because like still get it. It's pretty really really good man. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. So anything else you would give anybody a shout out? Yeah, uh, probably try their acai bowls if they go off the acai bowls. Have you tried yeah. the acai bowls? No. Uh, the acai bowls are pretty good here. Like they're really good. Yeah. No no cap. It's a must. Yeah, it is. It's really good. And and their chicken sandwich hits as well, man. You have to come on an empty stomach. Come on yeah. an empty stomach. And then they got their desserts, their brownies are not normal. Their iced teas are not normal, like everything. Oh man, thanks Mohammed. No worries man, appreciate it. Sometimes you find you find the greatest places no matter what city you're in, down side alleys, down side streets. So it's so basically what I'm saying is get out of the comfort zone and walk around a couple of streets around the corner and you'll find greatness. Great places. Oh, bro, did you have to sip that a little bit at a time? I took one whole shot. No, it's good. Oh. Whatever suits you, bro, you might just feel like you had pre workout. <laughs> oh, mate. May, may feel like you had pre workout, bro. Yeah, oh, bro. I wish I could offer you some canafi like I did at the markets. Oh, man, the canafis were good. Canafi, definitely. Canafi. Can you order? I'll have to see how it yeah. Oh, nice. So, speaking of culture, um, could you tell tell the viewers uh, what's your background? Yes, yeah, so I'm Syrian, uh, born in Australia, and my, uh, my business partner is also Egyptian. So, we've got that Arab background, yeah. and our whole cafe or our menu is like a Middle Eastern twist on modern food. So, Okay, if there was one dish that's in the cafe right yeah. now that you'll recommend to somebody coming in for the first time, what, what would you recommend? I'd go to the best of my Reuben. So we use a six week cured beef, it's like yeah. a beef prosciutto, and we have our sauerkraut, our house made pickles, we have like a chi uh, chili aioli sauce on top with some Swiss cheese on a rye bread, so yeah, it's really nice, it's different, it's a different style of Reuben. It's different. Yeah, it's good. That's it. Hi, beautiful. 
Hey, brother. What's happening? He's the chef here. Say, say, what's up? You're, 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 not, you're, you're on TV right now. Say, what's your name? Uh, Sam. 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 Where are you from, Sam? Thailand. Hey, Sawadee Ka. Sawadee Ka. Mai. Oh, Kap Kun Ka. Kap Kun Ka. How you know? I know. I love Thailand. Man, that looks dope. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. What's that? Well, what's this one? Uh, the Middle Eastern Toasty. Oh, can I? Middle Eastern Toasty. Like waffle. Yeah. I think it's humongous. So how's it going, brothers? Awesome, man. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Joel. 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 And now you're from the area? I am, from Newtown. Yeah. Are you a regular here at this spot? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. First little hidden gem in town. Recommended? Absolutely. 100%. 100%, man. And what's your name, brother? What's up, boy? Carl. Carl. And uh, obviously, you're another regular here in the spot. Yeah, yeah. We both live together and we come down and... Yeah. Yeah. Come see Carl. And we're good. Oh, nice. So, this is the meal. And uh, can you explain to the people what, what exactly you got oh, there? Yeah. You got the Middle Eastern Toasty. Middle like Eastern Toasty. Falafel, like hummus, pickles, or pickled onions, and... We've got some little chilies and stuff. Oh, nice. Good. I thought it was a wrap. No, well, I'll let you guys enjoy your lunch. And people, I'm here in the Bearded Barista talking to some of the regulars, um, the folks that come here. This is their spot. They always come here. They pull up here and support my man, Khalid, in, in his shop. So I'm just talking to one of the one of the regular patrons. Something yeah. like that. Did I say that word right? Patrons. Patrons. Yes. Patrons. Patreons, no, Patreons. No eons. No, no. Patreon is when you guys paid yeah. for my channel. Yeah. Sorry, my, my bad. <laughs> Patreons. <laughs> that's it. That, Patreons. That's what's up. Patreons. Yeah. She's out here. So tell the people, why do you usually come to this spot here? Um, oh. It's just down the street from me, which is a bonus. But the coffee is really good. The food is really delicious. Um, it's got like a kind of Arab fusion feel to all like the menu items, um, which gives it something like unique. It's all super fresh. The coffee's never burnt. It's never bad. It's always just how you like it. Like even if it was further away from me and there was a closer coffee shop, I would still come to this coffee shop because it's very, very good. And tell the people about my man, Carly. Khalid, um, he is definitely a friendly face around here. He has a big bushy beard and stands at like six foot whatever the hell. <laughs> but um, he's super friendly. He knows everyone that comes in the shop by name, uh, by order. He's so involved with his business and the Bitter Baristas really help create a sense of community in the unit blocks and um, residential areas around here. So I'm always here seeing Khalid, seeing the team and seeing other neighbors who are getting coffee. That's it. And uh, another thing, um, I, I checked out your page on Instagram. Yep. And by the way, uh, tell the people your Instagram handle. It's uh, Khaloudi, K-H-A-L-O-U-D-Y. Okay, I'm going to put that down on the, in, 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 down on the video Sorry. for you people to see, so make sure that you pull up and uh, check my man's page out. Easy. And our uh, business page is info, uh, sorry. It's uh, the Bitter Brewster. <laughs> I forgot the name of the cafe. That's where you work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so our, um, our, our cafe page is the Bitter Brewster with two A's. Okay, definitely. So, um, anything else you'd like to add about, you know, do you want to plug right I mean, now? we're a pet friendly cafe, so all dogs are welcome. Yeah. Uh, we cater for uh, all dogs, all pets, really. Uh, we're very family friendly, so we serve quite, we serve some decent coffee, you could say. So, it's probably, uh, Probably a different style of coffee that we serve here. So, I just got my coffee. Coffee, uh, long black. So, I don't know about you people, but I prefer long black. I don't know what you guys have, so put it down in the comment section um, what kind of coffee you guys prefer. For me, let's try this out. Whoa, man. This coffee's strong. Good, good, good long black. 
man, I'm going to stay up for the next two days from drinking this. This definitely recommended, high recommended coffee. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. And um, what's your name? My name's Fiona. I'm not from the area. Not from I the area. actually work around here, but Khaled, uh, who owns the shop, and John are some of my good mates. So I'll travel from home on weekends to come out here and get my favourite toasty, the Reuben, uh, and special Uncle Khaled tea. Um, I've brought my friend Mon with me today so she can try out the food. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> First time? Yeah. Okay. I love bringing, yeah, I love yeah. bringing people here. Just um, obviously the, the wide range of food um, and obviously the, the, the great service from the guys. Um, I recommend it to everyone. Okay. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Stratfield. Stratfield. Yes. Man, it's a long but way to come down here. It is, but I come here every day for my coffees, my morning coffees, and either Danny or Quinny will look after me and make it, um, and then two or three times a week for lunch. That's that's what I'm talking about, people. People will travel. If, if, if the spot is dope, people will travel. Because people know, people that understand the, the cafe food, the coffee culture, and stuff like that. So, uh, do you recommend people coming in? 100%. 100%. The vibe's good, atmosphere, everyone that's. Um, that is here who I run into like I've made friends at the shop just by sitting down and you know waiting for a coffee like people will just be chatty and lovely the vibe around here is awesome but I think it's obviously like it's a very local community so you know people just walking their dogs from down the street um, yeah I couldn't recommend it above anything else you know I'm not gonna name there's a, a particular coffee shop that I work next to that is um, pretty big in Alexandria but I'll travel here from work just to eat and get coffee not going to name it, but this is better. Better food, better hospitality. <laughs> there you have it. You're not going to name it, but hey, if you, you know, know it. If you know, you know. You know what we're talking about. So make sure for people out there, other cafes and other baristas out there, get your coffee game up. Lift your game. We're going to lift your game. That's what's up. Anyway, thank you, girls. Thank you. Any, any last shout out? Want to shout out somebody? No. No? Okay. But thank you so much. Shout out to my boyfriend, Jake. Love you. <laughs> Well, Jake, when she goes missing, this is where you find her. <laughs> yeah, right here, Jake. He knows. <laughs> Big ups to, uh, to Jake. So this is some of the great food that um, you can get here in this spot. Oh, look at this. So this is a Reuben, this is a Reuben, a Middle Eastern taken off a Reuben sandwich. Toasty. Oh man, I, I know it's gonna taste good. If it looks, if it tastes like it looks, it's gonna be off the meter. So let's let us take a bite. Let me let me see what's up. Oh, let me take a bite of this. Okay, let's go. Here, here goes a bite. Damn, that's good. The Reuben Toasty. Can't go wrong. Right here in the Bearded Barista. Recommended. Highly recommended. Sandwich, lift your, your plate up a little bit. And look at that. So this is a chicken and sizzle sandwich. This goes hard as well, man. Yeah. That's it. What is, what's it called? What's this? Oh, I don't even know chicken. what it's called. Yeah, it's like chicken and sizzle. It's, it's really good. And it puts like, I don't, do you know? Oh, it's it's honor, but but yeah, it's like cheese, it looks like spinach, sujuk is like a sausage, yeah. it's like a sweet and spicy sausage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ask her, so, yeah. She, she knows everything. <laughs> She'll be able to name probably well, what that is as well. She's, she's super that's regal. Kuk. I think that's what they call it, the kuk? Kuk. Kuk. Yeah. Kuk. Kuk. yeah. No, Jake's calling me. Okay. <laughs> Are you jealous? Yeah. <laughs> Pour an appetit. <laughs> So there we have the cafe here, my man Khalid's uh, cafe, out here in St. Peter's. It's been a great day hanging out with the bro, and I'm going to get him to say some last words before I end this video. So let me turn the camera around. Just want to just want to thank Cods for coming down today. Uh, he's got some great, he's got some really really great uh, energy, and his page is amazing. So be sure to check him out, and be sure to come down to the Bitter Bristol at Three Barwon Park Road, St. Peter's. That's it. The best. The best. That's it. See, this guy's got a lot of energy, man. You know, great. Man, what more can I say? What more can I say? Brother looked after me, fed me, 
gave me coffee. Hospitality is 100%. Love this guy's work, love his grind. And um, I recommend all you people watching this, if you're in the area, even if you're not in the area, take time out to go see some of uh, Sydney's uh, hidden gems. And the bearded barista is definitely one of those spots. Highly recommended by KUS, because I can. Thank you for pulling up to the channel today or tonight, depending when you're watching this. And let's go get it. Let's go, because I can.